at Cancer Treatment Centers of America where we utilize intraoperative radiation therapy for breast cancer, uh, the steps involved include taking the patient to the operating room because they require to have a lumpectomy, which is partial mastectomy is another term for it, where the tumor or where the tumor was located, that area is removed. Then after that tumor is removed and carefully examined by the surgeon and sometimes by the pathologist to make sure that all the edges are clear, then that cavity in the breast is then cleaned and then carefully sutured around a protective lead shield that's on the patient's chest wall. And what that does is it protects the underlying bone, soft tissue, and lung tissue from any radiation that could penetrate through. And then once that cavity is partially closed, the column, as we call it, for the radiation therapy machine is then placed inside the breast. Once we're happy that that location and the delivery is going to be in the areas we're concerned with, then we all step out, the short course of radiation therapy is delivered, and then we come back and close the breast tissue up in a cosmetically satisfactory fashion after we remove the lead shield and appropriately examine for any evidence of bleeding. And then once that is completed, we can evaluate the specimen histologically.